Hello again, everybody. Welcome again to another episode of Campcast. How y'all doing today? I'm your host, Camp, and we're back again. Thank you all to all of my returning visitors, or basically any everybody, the returning audience members, and even new audience members, as we say pretty much every episode, that... We welcome all new people, all new viewers. Um, we come up with new content as much as possible, basically. And we, uh, yeah, we welcome you all. So thank you all again for tuning in. I hope you endure, enjoy today's episode. And I also hope that each and every one of you all is having a very blessed day as uh, you were tuning in. Well, you know, either currently, previously, you know things like that so uh yeah so on this show or this channel basically what we kind of discuss is style grooming health and even some politics from time to time we don't get too too deep into it however i have been paying quite a uh certain amount of attention to i guess you would say more local interpersonal politics some may describe it as discrimination or discrimination may not be the best word but kind of just basically politics from everyday transactions everyday conversations things of that nature but we'll get into those things a little later uh, so yes if um, you can always like comment subscribe and um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of every new release or video that we put out and of course at any time if you would like to join in and chime in or leave a comment respond any type of feedback that you'd like to give whether it be from our returning uh, audience members or any new audience members please don't hesitate to do so that's why we're here so Without further ado, though, I'm going to introduce today's topic. Sometimes we do like a free thing where we kind of just kind of just let thoughts out and we may see where those thoughts go. Kind of like how journalists may say, I'm going to see where the evidence leads or takes me. I'm going to follow the evidence. So that's kind of what we do sometimes. But today I actually do have a topic that I would like to introduce and kind of talk a little bit about it. You can go ahead and give me your thoughts on it. And um, yeah, so that topic is called banter, B-A-N-T-E-R, banter. Now, some may be wondering why that's something that I like to discuss. Um, in recent conversations, um, I have just been wondering, kind of looking for that certain word to kind of describe basically good natured conversations we also kind of discuss building relationships as well too or at least that's what it it comes across as but so one way of that or one form of that would be through banter banter is actually a great way to do that so when i first arrived at the word banter and understood what it actually meant it was brought up to me by a friend of mine some time ago. So at the time, we were really into like sports talk, talk shows, basically. Uh, still am actually, shout out to basically everybody who's involved in those, they do an amazing job. Uh, as that industry is very transient, but yes. Anyway, we like to discuss basically the talk show host things they talk about, maybe even some of, of course, the actual topics that they do talk about, just giving our perspective. And of course, you can go on like platforms such as YouTube and comment and put in your feedback based on what they've said and things of that nature. Whether they read them or not, I doubt it. Because I don't even think they even pay attention to the YouTube aspect of that. But that's a whole another separate thought. But yeah, so we were kind of talking about like what it kind of meant and they were basically saying, I think what you're referring to is banter, kind of just 
bring a certain level of or I get what a certain level of intellect basically to what it is that you're trying to describe or a conversation of interest or something of that nature basically talking about not just simply opinionated more of like even facts or just basically something that appeals to some level of comfort to everyone involved in the conversation there's a little bit of pressure involved too and maybe a small slight bit of tension but that's if you're doing it right too so but then there's that so after i actually looked up the word our meaning of it and what it actually means or what the definition i have here for you is a little different but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and read that for y'all so what i have here are actually two definitions the first is the playful and friendly exchange of teasing remarks and next talk or exchange remarks in a good humored teasing way so it's kind of similar um, some examples of that might be I know one one of the main probably ways that I might see it whether in usually in restaurants if somebody is coming to join like a big party of maybe like five or more people you know they might use it to either I guess lighten the mood or lighten the tension if somebody is just coming to join or take a seat and may say you know to announce x you know x y and z that here he or she is maybe something unique about the person or maybe about their job or maybe even the reason why they may even be coming in or you know whatever reason that could be what maybe it was something that happened at work or things of that nature and of course it doesn't necessarily and then they actually say sometimes if the person is leaving it could be a few things that might be explained or joked about in a good way as they do kind of leave the dinner table or what have you and it doesn't have to necessarily be over dinner it could be in anything it could be in I mean at court it could be church it could be school class all kinds of places you know discussing maybe television shows movies sports athletes politics or current events of course maybe even so yeah um it's it's something that i often probably find myself engaging in or at least that might be what the conversation could turn into. It's, it's pretty healthy for everyone involved. Uh, it limits any, I guess, I would say toxic behavior, if you will, things of that nature. If any of you have anything you would like to also add to that, like as what you might think that it could bring. Uh, I've had a few people that have also told me that, you know, sometimes engaging in banner it like it when you focus on something central you know it kind of takes the pressure off the individuals that are associated or involved in the group discussion because now we don't have to get too personal with it which you know might bring a bit of anxiety or what have you or not uh depending on whatever type of situation you know, everybody may actually be in or what state of mind that they may be in. It's an opportunity to kind of escape reality, if you will, or jump into something bigger, like a bigger reality of, you know, yes, what's going on right now in each of our lives might be some factors that may be weighing on us as we might be walking around, but as soon as we kind of join a discussion, well, now it's to where it's a point of there's a centralized topic that we can arrive at that everybody can discuss and everybody may not feel the most comfortable, but it also is an opportunity to kind of thoroughly express maybe your position to or your perspective to certain people either you feel or value enough to say, you know, 
this is something I would like to share with y'all about this or whatever. Maybe bring a little bit of humor to it, crack a little joke or something like that, and simply say, yes, but I do believe in this. I think that this should be that way. That kind of goes a little bit more into the politics, which is what it's also used for as well. So, yeah. But that's pretty much my thought of banter. Um, too many people don't really say too much about it. And it's not favored by everybody, believe it or not. A lot of people seem to say they find the individualism aspect of it is probably less pressure on them than to go to a more generalized uh, platform of a conversation. So when we say platform, we basically just mean like something of, instead of kind of having it turned on me, now it's to a point to where I may feel anxiety to provide a certain or give a certain perspective or say something about a certain something because it may be an unfavorable perspective or opinion or something, something that could be frowned upon, something that is could be known as ill-founded, which basically means that that's not something that you should be openly sharing or at least excited to share but I think in the grand scheme of things it works now like I said it does have its you know errors it does have its issues things of that nature uh, because sometimes sometimes in banner you might find that you may even ignore or find yourselves ignoring some of the more complex and complicated uh, issues or uh, you may fail to realize uh, how certain conversations or decisions that are made in conversations like that, how it might affect every single other person because certain points are missed because it's only looked at maybe in one or a few kinds of ways. So to typically avoid basically considering other factors in it. But... That's only in some cases. That's not all cases. And then it depends on who's involved in the conversation. So there's different ways to engage and to banter in multiple ways other than just basically kind of turning your head and only viewing things in one direction and, of course, vice versa. So we also have to keep that in mind as well. Um... Yeah, so if you've ever heard of the word before and always have kind of wondered what it meant, you know, there's kind of like a better idea of it. Uh, and like I said, maybe if you have another your own version of it, you can also share that with the rest of us. And yeah, so I hope you can take something away from that for your next group discussion, whether that be possibly in a discussion board in class. I know back when I was in school, Mainly not, well, I think I had a few of them in undergrad, but I know in my uh, grad degree program, that was something that was, uh, it was mandatory for every class that I took was discussion boards. And of course, some liked it, some didn't. I think that that's actually where Banner is probably kind of used the most and it's kind of like, you know, exercise the most with your classmates. But so, yeah, uh, for those of you that may be in school that might be dealing with that, you can go ahead and leave your thoughts below too, or add them, and uh, kind of tell us about what your experiences with your banter in class may even be like. So without further ado, I do once again thank you all for tuning in, for all my returning viewers and any new time viewers. Uh, here we are, and we try to get you content as much as possible, and we hope you enjoy the episode, the conversation, uh, the different perspectives that we try to bring and we hope to see you next time on Camcast and you can also catch us over on Apple Music I'm sorry I keep saying that on Apple Podcasts as well we upload on there as well and the link should be in the description below and thank you all again remember I try not to keep y'all for too long 
spread the word. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one. So long.